What has surprised you most about Montana? Um, probably how community-based Missoula is and also the mountains that are like right next to us. Pretty hard to beat that. Yeah. And as cars are driving by um, and when they're coming to a complete stop, the stopping is fine. But once they get those tires going again, that's what the real problem is. <laughs> Well, welcome back, everybody. Before we end our show tonight, we'd like to remind you all to smile for the camera because get ready. Today is National Take a Selfie Day. Well, DJ, thank you very much. And we're going to talk some sports now. And a team from the West is your World Series champion. But the Seattle Mariners rah, rah, did not win. Sorry, man. <laughs> I, I, I mean, I write these, but I didn't put the whole thumbs. Wow. Like, wow. Really? Just... Well, today's a special day. You may be wondering why all of us are wearing red, and that's because today is National Wear Red Day to bring awareness for women's heart health. Heart disease, if you didn't know, one of the top three leading causes of death here in the United States for women, followed by cancer. So today, we're showing support to the American Heart Association all in honor of this great cause. And earlier today, I posted on my Facebook the top seven ways to keep heart healthy. And as an advocate myself for this cause, these are recommended by the American Heart Association. If you already follow my social media, and you or a loved one is affected by this disease, I would love to know your story. Also, if you'd like to learn more about ways to keep that heart alive, head to the American Heart Association's website, where you'll be able to find many helpful and useful tips to apply daily in 2024 so happy national red day so thanks to you two as well for allowing me to share what i'm most passionate about yeah what well, why are you most passionate about? i'm just curious yes yeah, so my whole entire family is affected by heart disease in fact my uncle passed away at the age of 37 from a heart attack so yeah. It's something that I'm very passionate about, and I'm glad that we all got to do today. So thank you to you, too. Absolutely. She was very excited. Yesterday, yes. she came up to Lena and I and goes, can we wear red tomorrow? <laughs> I was like, yeah, of course, especially for this great cause. Two of the candidates who have been pulling especially well are Jordan Hess and Mike Nugent. So it's definitely been a busy evening here in the Treasure State. We have lots going on. Our nonstop local team is bringing you live coverage of the election throughout the state this evening. But before we get to them, let's talk a little bit of numbers. Yep. And these results you see here are unofficial, but close to being final as Missoula County has accounted for 99% of all of the ballots returned. Only 28% of the city of Missoula voters participated in this election. So we have cats and we also have grizz too. So I'm going to go over here to Austin really fast. What is your prediction? Ah, uh, got to love those predictions, <laughs> right? Well, uh, I'm going to go 34-28. This may change in the next 24 hours, but 34-28, cats. Ooh, okay. Okay, fine. Well, I'm going to pick the Grizz. The Grizz? Yes. Any, any, any... Just some numbers. Oh, gosh. Where'd he go? Maybe 36-14. Whoa! Oh, okay. <laughs> what are you most nervous about throwing out the first pitch on Saturday? I think what I'm most worried about is throwing the ball far enough. Okay, should we try getting... Yeah, I think we should try it. Um, <laughs> Come on, I'm putting you to work here, Ben Wyman. <laughs> I think you're probably... You're probably here. Yeah? Yeah, and then he's he's going to go like this. Yeah? Yeah. Think we can do it? Try it. <laughs> All right, here we go. That's Made it. really, really good. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> Well, we have breaking news out of Paradise. That fire we mentioned earlier in the show, residents are now being advised by the Montana DNRC to evacuate. Whether you'll be able to watch the Brian Koberger trial remains up in the air, but Judge John Judge adjourned court without making a decision. A hearing on the motion took place in Moscow just earlier today, and Koberger's defense says the cameras could be a distraction. Homes are getting less and less affordable for most Americans. U.S. home price hit another record high in October, raising for the ninth straight month. And that's according to the S&P CoreLogic Case Chiller, U.S. National Home Price Index. Welcome back to Washington Grizzly Stadium. And joining me on the sidelines, a couple members of our nonstop local team. we got news anchors Ben Wyman and the newest member of our team, Rachel DeAngelis. Guys, how we doing? Sean, doing great. Trying to stay cool out here. Washington Grizzly, it's hot. It's so nice to be back at, 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 for football season here at Walgreens. Rachel, your first game. Yeah, I'm super excited. When Ben and I first showed up, I was doing a little happy dance because I absolutely love fall football. 
Good news before we end our show tonight. For a lot of people, Friday night is movie night. Of course. But not only that, but regardless of what day of the week it is, Ben, thanks for allowing me to enjoy my favorite snack every day. <laughs> for those of my not know, we, Rachel and I sit our desks are like right yeah. next to each other. We have a shared trash can <laughs> in the middle of our desk, so we both use it. Yeah. <laughs> There's a lot of this thing right here it's in our trash can. Specifically this one. And today's oh. National Trick Shot Day. So we got a little football. Oh, oh. Now I got a light football. here. Rach, do you think you can catch it? Don't catch it. No, no, don't yeah. throw it at me. Yeah, no, no. yeah, here we go. You oh my it. gosh. No, I don't got it. Oh!